Could you tell us about a family member or someone you know that's been impacted by the recent state budget cuts? Uh, yes, I know someone. Um, uh, I actually work for the resource and referral uh, departments all in LA County and uh, we service 10 cities and in those 10 cities there's one parent that really stood out amongst all the other ones. Her name is Kokisha Marshall. She is a mother of two and a foster parent of two. And she came to our office looking for childcare because her yokum that she receives from foster care does not cover the cost of the two infants that she has for um, foster care. Uh, unfortunately, she came to our office and we had to place her on the Los Angeles centralized eligibility list. And basically, she's on this uh, LA County wide list waiting for childcare because she, as a parent, has never received uh, welfare services or actually cash aid. And because of this, she'll be waiting a long, long time unless you do something about it. Okay, so what do you think the government could do to avoid cutting programs for health, education, and social services? I think the government really needs to remember who are more important, who is the most vulnerable, which are the children. And if we want um, these families to help with uh, social services like foster parents or just anyone in general who needs help with their child care services, we need them to really focus on what's really truly more important our children who are definitely our future and who will also decide you know in the future who their constituents will be and uh, if they decide in the future to ever um, vote for anyone we really need to focus on who's more important the kids Okay, well, thank you for your time, Miss Patty Walker, and that concludes our interview for the day.